Hey everyone, it's Maggie back here, and today we have a preview of an upcoming Kickstarter from my friend Gil. This is The Networks from For For Formal Ferret Games. Um, the Networks is a one to five player card drafting game. Um, it's not a draft like a hand to hand draft, but it's a put the things on the table and pick them up draft. Um, and it's about programming, uh, not like a hidden programming, but programming, like programming schedules. Um, so you're gonna schedule the best schedule you can schedule. And the most viewers at the end of your of your game, of the end of the five rounds, is going to win. So <laughs> that was a very wordy way of saying, hey, look at this cool game. But uh, Gil sent this to me, and I had an opportunity to play this at two, three, and four players. So I haven't done the one, and I haven't done the five. Five players worries me just a smidge with these giant cards, because it's a table hog. But what I can say, delightfully, is that the two player is fantastic. And that's where I had probably the most fun was in the, the snappy little game of the two player version. Um, there's not a lot of rule differences between player counts. You just do a different number of cards on the table. And at two players, you have one element that's going to remove cards from your tableau. It's not quite as random as something like the Glenmore die because you know that it could remove any of the leftmost cards at any given time. So if there's something on the very left of any pile that you really need, you'll take it before that card gets flipped up and you know it's coming. So the best part of this game and the heart of this game is really in how hilarious it is, especially for TV junkies, which um, I don't know if you guys know that, but I was basically raised on television, so I love this stuff. Um, you basically, you read out the, the titles of the shows and everyone at the table will be giggling unless they didn't have television. You have old folks complaining, you've got little sister, you've got very charismatic explosions, and you have every trope under the sun and your stars and you have hilarious advertisements. I'm not going to read them all out here because it's very, very fun to discover on your own. Um, the game is a, a lot on the light-hearted casual side. Gil and I talked about this quite a bit. He wanted to liken it to heavier games, like uh, he, he wanted to call it like a medium light game, like a St. Petersburg or Raw, which I don't disagree that there are some decisions in the game, but I think it's lighter than those games because the the decision process is, is kind of one layer. You can pick out one card that's either going to impact your opponent or help you. A lot of the times it's not going to do both for you. So you're going to be watching out and making sure your opponent doesn't get all of the same genre over and over because if they get nothing but dramatic shows they're going to get some free stuff. So if you can take their third or their fifth dramatic show from out from under them you're going to be costing them a lot of points. Whereas you also want to be working on your own genre bonuses and making sure you get that last sports show that you needed by the end of the game. There's only five rounds and I'd say it might feel a little bit long at the four player count. Um, I would probably want this to go four rounds at four players, but the, the cards are very funny and there's different decks for the different seasons so they kind of ramp up over time. And he's made sure to balance how many of each genre are in each stack so you can't get completely screwed over unless your opponents make it. So um, very fun, very funny. The most fun I've had playing this was also with other TV junkies saying out the names of the shows and trying to actually pair the right star with the right show based on the genre rather than the strategy of the game. Um, so they got a few fewer viewers than they probably should have, but it was a lot of fun. Um, the only, okay, the biggest downside I have to this game, and Gil isn't sure if this is going to stay in the final version, were the scoreboards. I, I find them to be a little bit unnecessarily large. They're, this is one third of the scoreboard. It's in three pieces. They're flippy because parts of them have different player counts and stuff. Um, it's not a bad thing, but it definitely feels to me I would want just a scoreboard, just one piece that I take out of the box. Um, he was a little worried about the starting money being printed on the scoreboard itself, but I said maybe during the setup portion of the rulebook you just mention how much money first, second, third, fourth players get. Um, I, I would be surprised to see it in the final count, but it might be. It's not the end of the world at all. It doesn't impact my feelings about the game, but it was inconvenient. And the size of the cards is a little large for me, but 
you know what, if you make some small cards, a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I hate small cards, my hands can't small cards. So, you're not gonna make everyone happy that way, and I just happen to have a pretty small gaming table. A lot of my friends have giant gaming tables and it would not be a problem. Um, I look forward to the campaign. I think it's gonna be really fun. I think this is a no-brainer for people to back, especially if they need light-hearted two to four player games. Um, I think I would like to see it overfund a little bit to get really nice bits because if you can get an enhancement on some of the pieces in the game, especially the money, which right now is just prototype bits so I can't really show you what they're going to be, I think that would make a nice impact on this type of game. Uh, overall, it's, uh, it's a plus for me and I hope you guys have a chance to check it out. If you're at PAX Prime, I know Gil is planning on being there this uh, coming two weeks and I know he's planning on being at other conventions very soon. Uh, I will put a link to the Kickstarter down in the comment section and if you have played this please comment and let us know what you think because I was curious, I, just, I don't know anyone else who's played this so I, I would really like to hear what other people had to say. Uh, that's all for me for now and I'll talk to you later, bye!